This video is brought to you by Kia Butterworth, located in Butterworth, Penang, Malaysia. Hey guys, right here I have a 2017 Kia Grand Carnival 2.2 CRDI EX. And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it. Show you the features inside and out. So, here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and start it up first. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. Upon locking the car, the side mirrors automatically folds in. And upon unlocking, the side mirrors automatically folds out again. The Grand Carnival in EX Trim does come standard with Kia's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So, just have the key fob on yourself. The car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the black button on any of the front door handles. And to unlock the car, just press the black button again. With that smart keyless entry, you do have push button start as well. So to start this Grand Carnival, make sure the key fob is inside the car. Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel. The third generation Grand Carnival utilizes a hydraulic rack and pinion power steering system. A leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2 is standard on the EX trim. A 6 speed automatic with manual shifting capabilities is the only transmission option for the Grand Carnival in Malaysia. Front and rear parking sensors as well as a reverse camera with guidance signs are all standard features across the local Grand Carnival lineup. When talking about safety features, the Grand Carnival comes with 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system, electronic brake force, distribution, brake assist, electronic stability control, hill start assist control, an alarm system with immobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the outer two middle row seats and the right side last row seat. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine and roll down the driver's side window. Eighteen inch five twin spoke machine finished alloy rims with two three five sixty R eighteen tires are what the EX trim rides on. The tires on this MPV are Kumho Krujan Premium KL thirty three units. Ventilated disc brakes are found in front, while the rear gets solid disc brakes. The suspension uses McPherson struts and a multi link setup front and back respectively. It has been nearly twenty years since the first generation Kia Carnival hit the market back in nineteen ninety eight. Kia's largest MPV on sale is known under several different names, depending on the market it is sold in. The first generation was only available with a single wheelbase length. This changed when the second generation model was introduced in 2006. Two wheelbases, short and long, were available to cater to the different wants and needs of customers around the world. The short wheelbase was known as a Carnival, while the long wheelbase was named Grand Carnival. When the third generation model debuted in 2014, only one wheelbase length was available, and this corresponded with the long wheelbase model of the second generation. The current carnival is also known as the YP generation. The Grand Carnivals bound for Malaysia are fitted with Kia's R 2.2 liter, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbo diesel inline 4 engine with common rail direct injection, and a variable geometry turbo system. This engine produces 197 horsepower at 3800 rpm 
and 440 newton meters of torque between 1,750 and 2,750 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour is achieved in 13.6 seconds onto a 190 km per hour top speed. With an 80 litre fuel tank, combined fuel consumption for the Grand Carnival 2.2 CRDI automatic is 7.7 litres per 100 km. Carbon dioxide emissions is 199 grams per kilometer, and the Grand Carnival is a front wheel drive vehicle. The Grand Carnival YP went on sale in Malaysia just last March. Three variants were made available, 2.2D, 2.2 CRDI KX and 2.2 CRDI EX. Exterior features of the Grand Carnival EX includes automatic manual leveling halogen projector headlights, LED rear lights, front and rear fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, indicators on the side mirrors, body colored door handles and side mirrors, roof rails, and a black front grille with chrome highlights. storage, bottle holder, more storage, speaker and right here you do have your mirror controls, window lock, central locking and your window controls. All of the windows in this car does get a fully automatic function in both directions. traction control, interior brightness adjustment, and this button pops open the fuel flap. The driver's seat in this Grand Carnival EX does get full manual adjustments. This lever controls the seat back, this lever controls the seat height, and this bar down here controls the seat position. You do have power lumbar support adjusted using the buttons right here. Alright. So let's go ahead and see how she revs.
The Grand Carnival's parking brake is foot operated. The pedal is located right here and the parking brake is currently engaged. To disengage it, push the pedal once and to engage it, simply push the pedal back down. The Grand Carnival EX does come standard with a tri-zone automatic climate control system. All of the controls are located right here, it is quite simple to use. You do have your fan speed for the front of button, different modes, fan speed for the rear. This button turns on off the rear air conditioning system. This one locks the um, rear air conditioning controls. You do have your rear temperature control right here, front and rear defrost, recirculation, air conditioning, driver side temperature with your automatic mode and your passenger side temperature with your sync button. Sync means if you have it turned on, the driver's side will control the temperature for all three sides, but if you turn it off, each side will have their individual temperature control. You do have a digital clock right next to the hazard light button. Down here, you do have your auxiliary and USB ports, cup holders with a cover, parking sensors, and this button activates your eco mode. All Grand Carnival variants in Malaysia gets an integrated infotainment system featuring a 4.3 inch touch display, various media connectivity options, and 6 speakers for the sound system. One thing to note is that Bluetooth is not included on Malaysian spec models. The Grand Carnival does have quite a decent stock sound system. It is a very simple head unit to use. You do have your CD player right above. The CD player is MP3 compatible. Eject button for the CD player. This button turns off the display. To the right, you do have your mute button, scan and sound. Under sound, you do have your balance and fader, your tone, which basically allows you to adjust your bass mid treble, your speed dependent volume and beep. Right here, you do have your tuning knob, seat track buttons, your volume and power knob. Under setup, we can go to your display setup, sound setup, system setup, and turn the display off again. Under media, we can go between your different media options. You do have CD, USB, and auxiliary. Right down here, you can repeat, shuffle, list, and bring up your menu. And if we hit the radio button, we can go between your FM, AM menus. Front quarter windows, central locking, and as shown earlier, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, push this switch all the way to the left. If the switch is all the way to the right, that means the side mirrors are always folded out. If the switch is all the way to the left, that means the side mirrors are always folded in. And if you leave the switch in automatic, that means when you lock the car, the side mirrors fold in. And when you unlock it, the side mirrors fold out. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your audio controls with your different mode selection button, your volume wheel, your seat track wheel, and your mute button. On the right spoke, you do have your cruise control, as well as your multi-information display controls. Use this button to go through the different main menus, use the wheel to go through the different sub-menus, and use the return button to, well, return to the previous menu. We are currently in your driving data menu with your digital speedometer, your range, average fuel consumption and instant fuel consumption, trip A, and trip B. Under the two trip meters, you do have your distance travel, average speed, and elapsed time. And back to your digital speedometer, your um, media menu, service menu and your user settings menu right here we do have your door settings light settings convenience service interval and other features
On the right stall, you do have your light and indicator controls. And on the left stall, you do have your wiper controls. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Front center armrest with two tier storage. You can actually move this partition so you can access your storage from here or from here. But this storage area is actually quite big. You do have another USB port right in here and a power outlet. Manual dimming, rear view mirror. You do have a mirror right here to keep tabs on rear passengers. And you do have your interior lights right above. Your various light controls, your powered door controls for the respective sides, your powered rear hatch control, and this button turns off the powered rear hatch function. Sun visor for the driver's side does get an extension, as well as a vanity mirror with a light. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. There are actually several different ways to open up the powered rear doors in this 2017 Grand Carnival. The first way is via the button on the key fob. The third and fourth ways are via the button right here and the lever right here. And the final way is via the handle. To gain access to the last row of seats, locate this lever, pull it and move the whole seat forward. Now that I am in the last row of seats, I'm about 5 foot 7 which is about 1.7 meters tall. I do get quite a lot of room to stretch out my feet underneath the middle row of seats. I do get about this much in terms of leg room and about this much in terms of headroom. It is actually quite nice and spacious back here. The seats are comfortable as well. For both sides, you do have storage areas, cup holders, speakers, sunshades, grip handles and aircon vents. To get out, locate this strap, pull it, and then move the whole seat forward. I did set the driver's seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall, as mentioned earlier on. I do get quite a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the driver's seat. As for leg room, I get slightly more than this. And I do get about this much in terms of headroom. Like the last row of seats, the middle row of seats are quite nice and comfortable as well. It is very spacious back here. You can adjust the position of the seats as well as the angle of the seat backs so you can vary what the middle row gets and what the last row of seats get. But for the middle row, if there is no one sitting in the middle, 
you can pull the strap and flip the seat back down to reveal cup holders and a bit of storage. You do have cup holders right there as well. Storage, another USB port, more storage down here. Storage pockets on the front seat backs with a hook for the front seat back on the passenger side. And on the door panel, you do have your window control, storage, cup holder. Right up here, you do have your grip handle. Another grip handle right above. The one right above has hooks. And you do have air vents on the ceiling with your interior lights right there. Your climate control panel for the rear with your fan speed, temperature, mode, automatic and off button. Hook right here. And you do have sunshades for the middle row windows as well. And you do have armrests for the outer seats on the middle row. There are three ways to operate the powered rear hatch in this 2017 Grand Carnival. The first way is via the button on the key fob. The second way is via the button inside the cabin that I showed you earlier on. And the third way is via a touchpad right above the number plate on the rear hatch itself. In 8-seater mode, boot space in the Grand Carnival measures 359 litres. This increases to 2,718 litres when all the rear seats are folded. There is a power outlet to the right of the boot. You do have adjustable headrests for all rows of seats in this car.
window control, central locking, speaker, storage and a bottle holder. The front passenger seat in this car does get full manual adjustments as well but unlike the driver's side which gets height adjustment and lumbar support for the passenger side you can only adjust your seat back and your seat position. You do have storage and a power outlet right down here. Dual glove box set up for the car. You do have a lockable one down below. It is of a nice size and a smaller one right above. Grip handle for the front passenger and the front passenger's sun visor does get a vanity mirror with a light and an extension as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle to a video of this 2017 Kia Grand Carnival 2.2 CRDI EX. Thanks for watching and goodbye.